Unify. Inspire. Act. This is Detroit 2020. We are highlighting Cobo Center in tonight's Detroit 2020. We're joined now by Larry Alexander, the chairman of the Detroit Regional Convention Facility Authority. Okay, Larry, so you've spent uh, several million dollars already over the last couple of years. Uh, is Cobo up to par? Is it big enough? Is it good enough for, for the needs of the modern day? It's getting there. Uh, today, it's important to understand that 90% of the existing trade shows in the country can fit in Kobo without anything. The problem is we need to renovate the facility and make it better and also be sure that we're keeping up with the pace of the auto show so that this remains a premier auto show in the world. Uh, we've already gone out and secured $80 million. Uh, that $80 million has been spent on a number of things. Uh, we've El escalators, elevators, uh, new lighting systems, energy management systems, um, uh, loading docks, new doors, kitchen equipment. So a lot of work has already been done behind the scenes. The next big step is people want to know what's the new front of the house going to look mm. like. And we hope to expand, uh, uh, to uh, renovate, uh, to uh, show that story in the next 60 to 90 days. But people are talking about it already. They're talking about it. The new service that's in place right now with SMG and Tom Connors are doing a great job. Uh, people are feeling and excited about the changes that they see and the customer service initiatives that are in place. Uh, Hit, Eatsville, which is, uh, which showed there in that piece, which is yeah. a copy off of Hitsville. Yeah. So a number of things are in place and right. people can feel like this is a new facility. All right, we're going to talk more about that with Larry in just a second. Don't go anywhere. We're not finished yet. Stay no, right here. when we come back, we're going to talk dollars and cents. Is there enough money for all of the improvements Larry was just telling about, telling us about in the future of Kobo? Don't go away. We're right back. Kobo Center, the focus of tonight's Detroit 2020. We've been talking with Larry Alexander, the chairman of the Detroit Regional Convention Facility Authority. Now, Larry, let's talk about Kobo a bit. I mean, people keep talking about, is it big enough? Is it big enough? Where We, we rank where in the country in terms of size for we're, Kobo? We're about number 13th when you look at all the convention centers around the country. About we, hundreds and hundreds. Hundreds. We're yeah. number 13th. So when we're, we're battling for convention business. Who are we competing against? Really, in our competitive set is Indianapolis, San Antonio. There's a couple of cities down in Florida, New York, uh, Cleveland, uh, most of the cities in Ohio. So we really got a competitive set, and that's what we feel like we need to own. We don't need to be the biggest, but we need to be the best. We need to own our own niche. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit in our piece with Tom Connors, how he says that the one thing is this is probably one of the strongest convention centers out there, just the way it's constructed. Kobo has great bones. I mean, when it was built, it was built very solidly. The problem is it needs to be renovated. It hasn't had any real infusion of capital in many, many years. And that's why these dollars are so important to make that facility more functional, more user-friendly, and make it a best facility and give us something to be proud of in the region. Now, you were talking about some of the money being pumped into Kobo, $80 million, but mm -hmm. what really needs to be done and how soon can it be done? Well, everybody wants to know what's the new Kobo going to look like. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the front door, what's going to change? What's the facade going to look like? What are the meeting rooms going to be like? How much more square footage of space will we have? We plan to unveil those plans in probably the next 60 to 90 days. Our architects are working and feverishly to finalize those plans, be sure that we get the cost in line so we don't spend more than what's required by the legislation and have that facility something that this entire city and region and state can look at and say, wow, when you walk in the doors, every piece of this is great. Years down the line? Yeah. Though? Probably two to three years. Now, Larry, you, uh, you, you mentioned that the, the funding that you required and so forth. This brings us to our point of this regional authority. Everything has been an argument with Kobo for, forever. Everybody fought about this regional authority, but mm -hmm. how you you guys getting along there are five of you how are you getting along we're getting along quite well I mean the team is really gelling because we're all focused on one mission and one goal and that's to fix this facility and make it proud you have to remember that there's three stipulations that we have to live up to in the legislation one is all five of us have to agree it can't be a three to one or a three to two or four to one vote all five have to agree second we're limited on how much money we can borrow 299 million and that's not a bad thing it just means we've got to be very careful how we spend the money because it's taxpayer dollars and the third thing what most people don't realize we have to operate with a balanced budget and that's required by the legislation so we want we can't build more than we can operate effectively but we've got to have enough and we got to have the space serve dual purposes it serves the auto show plus other conventions that come into the facility okay we're really out of time but I hope we can turn around the image of Detroit to bring in this business because we need the dollars don't we absolutely and that's the beauty of it you bring tax dollars in from outside of the region that are helped help generate new development in our region all right it's all working out Larry thank you so much for taking the time and we'll be talking to you again very soon as we start unveiling those plans. Look forward to it. All right. It looks exciting. Thank you.